Okay, we call this death. Now, why do we call it death? Because, well, it's the death of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, J.K. Rowling, performance by Jim Dale, obviously. But this is supposed to be a cassette, but they decided to give me the CD. I don't want the CD. I already have this on CD, and I have the Stephen Fry on CD, and I got both of them copied. So that's four copies I have of the Deathly Hallows, and two of Jim Dale, and two of Stephen Fry. I wanted the cassette, but people are so stupid. It's not worth sending back because then I don't have to send the whole set back. So, all right. Um, let's take a look. Now, this has 17 discs. Um, that's a lot. Okay, let's try to take it out, see what we're looking at. What condition are they in? Well, as you can see, the Jim Dale version of all of these are a little more creative when you look at them compared to um, the Stephen Fry versions. Um, they just, yeah, the inside boxes on Stephen Fry. Although, actually, that's not true. The Stephen Fry CDs are actually way better than the one. It all depends which ones you get. Okay, here's number one. There's J.K. Rowling. There's the picture. And you can see there's all different things that pop out here. Here we go. Now, if you, you're you going to see... We, I don't know what these CDs are going to look like. All right, there are a few scratches. I don't even care what this is. If it's destroyed, I don't need it. But I'm, we'll take a look. A few scratches, but playable. Barely any scratches on that one. Um, yeah, barely a few scratches. Maybe a couple scratches. Make sure you keep you keep. I know the camera has to be pointed this way because if not, the tripod will, will fall down because I'm too busy to fix it. So that's that. Um, make sure the numbers are pointing out so you can look at stuff. Now I think I t looked at all the first three, but whatever. This one has a little scratch going down this way. But that one's actually in pretty good order, if not anything. So, so whatever. I'm trying to show you everything I can, but sometimes I miss some things. Okay, five, six, and seven now for the um, Deathly Hollows. Here we got. Was that supposed to be like a picture of Voldemort or something? I guess so. Jim Dale. <laughs> Jim Dale's a fun guy to watch. He has a good voice. Him and Stephen Fry are like a, a tie for the whole series. Was that um, Ginny? Probably. Okay. <laughs> Look at all the other stuff. Um, now I don't understand. Why did they only put four di uh, three discs in this one, but f four in the other one? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Um, five. Oh, this one has a few more scratches on it. See? Always inspect stuff, even though I don't need these. It's another backup, I guess. I could give it to someone if they really wanted it. I mean, if I have two copies already, and this is the third, if I find someone that wants it, I'd probably just give it to them. Um, okay, that's that. And that's that. A few scratches, nothing heavy. But, you know, I don't know how people scratch up all their discs. I always said it, like they purposely just throw them at the ground, or what do they do? How do they break them? Um, all right, the next one, nine, eight, nine, and ten. Um, I didn't even look at the outside casings. If I miss some of them, it's not a big deal. I mean, as long as you see the discs, that's what people really care about. See, um, eight. I look how this is. I don't like. I don't like these. All all these um, covered these disc labeled whatever you want to call them. The disc art. It always has that weird look to it. They all. Shiny and all that. That's a little scratched up on the edge. Disc 9. It's very minor scratches. Disc 10. Very minor scratches. Well, whoever handled this um, did a decent job compared to what I've seen with other people. I'll tell you that much. Some other people do a terrible job. Now, this one was in 2007. Some of them cassettes we were looking at were 2003. So that brings us back to a long time ago. Galaxies far, far away. You know, <laughs> this isn't Star Wars. All right, um, here we go again. It's showing you um, pre-order the book online. Looks like it's showing you on the website to go. Hmm. Bridget Potter website was that Pottermore? No, Potter Random House, whatever it was. Cheese doesn't look like a very reliable website. All right, here's all the yeah. Here's all the different stuff. 
Oh, don't want that dish to pop out yet. So this is the final four. Oh, no, this isn't the final four. We got another one. I'll show you disc one. I mean disc eleven. And a little few mocks, not bad. Disc twelve. Disc thirteen. I'm gonna try um, a little bit. None of these are heavily damaged. It looks like the CDs are all going to be playable. It's just, and that's that. The reason why I didn't want to, I don't use these and I use my copies that I make is because there's no way in hell that I'm going to keep taking these in and out of the cases. And if I wreck one of them, I don't have a backup and then I can't listen anymore. So I listen to some burned ones that I copied for myself. I mean, if I can make cassettes, would I make them myself too? Probably not. It would take too much time just to do any of these. Unless you can push copy, there's no point. Like, imagine the, the people that actually put these audio books together. It does take a lot of effort, I can imagine. It's not just the voice. People have to put them on the discs. Okay, here's the last one. That must be Voldemort. Okay, there's all the books. All of Harry Potter's adventures are within your reach. We know that already. Why would you advertise someone this? They most likely have all the books on audio to begin with. So, kind of pointless there, isn't it? Okay. <sighs> now I'm slipping here. Okay, you saw that. You saw that. You saw that. It's kind of spooky colors now. Back over there. <laughs> well, here's 15... Pretty good, damn good condition. One of the best discs I've seen so far today is disc 15 of this this set. Okay, um, disc 16, damn good too, intact. Disc 17, a few minor scratches. So overall, that's it. All I gotta say is, um, you're gonna say, why would you want this to be a cassette over a CD? Um. The basic reason for that is is because I've collected every other version of it and I wanted the cassettes because you know it's more of a nostalgic thing and it's, it's fun like if you can follow a series and you want to start from where the first stuff they made which I think yeah at the time there were CDs and on cassettes at the same time I think because yeah CDs have been around a long time but anyways that's what I like you gotta make sure you put them in the right place or else you won't see the picture on it and that's that. Um, if you want to buy the cassettes, are they any cheaper than the CDs? Um, that depends. If you look on eBay, I see. I really don't recommend going to eBay. If you're gonna buy a whole set of something like CDs, go on Amazon or something. I've never had a problem with an Amazon sale when it comes to buying. It's and if I do, well, I've had problems, but it's never their fault. Um, with eBay, the sellers are pretty. They try to swindle you any any way you could think of. But with this, they left everything in good condition, surprisingly, but this is supposed to be a cassette. Alright, well that's it. Um, and, um, stupid thing. Oh, oh. <laughs> Looks like a tower now. now I'm not going to be, should I be rough with it? It doesn't really matter. Bye-bye.